I'm Luigi De Martino, I'm the coordinator of the uh, Secretariat of the Geneva Declaration on Armed Violence and Development. Uh, the Declaration is a diplomatic initiative launched in 2006 by Switzerland, uh, the United Nations uh, Development Program, or UNDP, and 42 other countries. Uh, to date, we do have 112 states that have adhered to the Declaration. Basically, the objective or the goal of the declaration is to reach a measurable reduction, reduction of our violence by 2015 and accompany this reduction with the improvement of um, living conditions of the affected populations. The declaration works around three main pillars. First of all, the research. Uh, we, uh, we support research on armed violence, its impacts, the characteristics, as well as, well as uh, the, um, the support, uh, the, the understanding of what works in terms of armed violence reduction and prevention where, under what conditions. The second pillar of the declaration is the advocacy. We use the, the results of research to bring the, the, the question uh, on, of armed violence, armed violence reduction, uh, conflict prevention, um, crime prevention, depending in various, uh, um, in various settings, in various fora, both at the UN, uh, mostly at the United Nations, but also a, at the regional or national level. Basically, we would like that the results of our research are widely disseminated, widely used, and are, that are used indeed to um, foster discussions, uh, debate, and more importantly, uh, policies and programming that lead to positive change for the affected populations. Lastly is the programming pillar for the declaration. Um, this is the third pillar. Uh, the, the declaration is not a funding, uh, funding institution, but what we do is sharing experiences in terms of armed violence reduction and prevention in various contexts uh, and in various settings. This year, uh, for us, is an important year because we are going through a review process uh, that, at the regional level, we will, uh, we've just started a first regional conference for the Americas in Guatemala, in La Antigua. That's, uh, the, these are occasions to review where countries and, or, uh, and regions are in terms of uh, armed violence reduction and prevention and in implementing the principles of the Geneva Declaration but also to highlight, uh, it, it's a perfect moment to highlight the importance of the linkages between armed violence and development. The next conference will be taking place in Nairobi, Kenya at the end of May, be followed in, by a, a review conference for the Europe, uh, Eurasian space in, in July, then uh, um, the Philippines for Asia, and finally uh, Morocco for the Middle East. Why armed violence and development is important? This year, uh, as you probably know, uh, there, there is a, an ongoing debate uh, at the uh, United Nations about the next development framework. Um, the Millennium Development Goals were very important tools to uh, galvanize or focus and prioritize uh, international aid to, uh, to developing states. Now, the debate is about um, the, what will follow the, the Millennium Development Goals. We think, and with others, that, that it is important that peace uh, and security are integrated into the next Millennium Development, not only as enablers, uh, but also as at least as target, uh, or even better, as a goal. This would provide uh, um, uh, focused interventions by states and, and, and highlight the importance of peace and security for development as we think that without security, uh, social economic development is, is basically in, impossible. And at the same time, so the right type of social economic development can bring uh, an answer to insecurity of the people that can be really a powerful tool 
to reduce and prevent uh, 